ball handles. Hi there, I'm thrilled to be here. Why don't we get started? Absolutely. Well, how can guys clean their balls so that they're more enjoyable to play with? Problem is, normal supports just doesn't cut it. See? Still dirty. There's finally a tool that can really get the job done. Go ahead and play with those clean balls, balls. Wow. I could play with these balls all day. Balls. Can it clean these filthy balls? Balls. Throw those fuzzy suckers down here. Cleans right through the prickly surface. You are a true champion. If you've got dirty balls that need cleaning. Hello there and welcome back Summoner. I don't know what that intro was, but even though the ball related theme was kind of a stretch, it did make me laugh so I just left it in and here we are. As you can already see here, today we're playing a ballsy bot lane with Oriana support and Syndra ADC and normally, I'll just pick two champs which I think make a fun concept together, but today I might have stumbled upon an actual viable pick. The highlights we're watching now is from a ranked flex game where I wasn't planning on recording at all, but I found she is actually strong and here is why. Her Q is a poke. Her W is a slow and a movement speed buff. Her E is a shield and her ultimate is a nice AoE attack. Her passive builds up bonus damage if you keep hitting the same enemy, let's see how that works out. Works out pretty well in a bot lane duo. At this point I don't even know how it took me so long to realize the viability of this pick, until now. But before we dive into it, let's enjoy some more of these replays while we listen to a few words of my editor. Hey guys, this is Ace Editor speaking, just to give- oh wait, wait. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a huge thanks for the support so far, I really appreciate it. And if you think this content deserves more views than it gets so far, please like the video, share it with your friends, leave a comment on what you think I should try next or stuff like that. And uh, just keep the interaction going so the YouTube algorithm really likes my videos and recommend it to somebody sometimes. Uh, yeah, that was it. Thanks a lot and uh, enjoy the video. Like I was saying, Oriana support is a surprisingly viable support pick, not just in lane, but as well in team fights. The slow slash speed buff on your W is really helpful when you chase down enemies. When done correctly, it allows you to get more easy access to kills, objectives and eventually winning the game. When you execute these points perfectly, you might even force the enemy team to surrender. Now, with all that in mind, let's showcase some in-game highlights of another game, with the one we've all been waiting for, my fellow ball fondling sister, Sandra. But before we do, let's take quick look at the runes I chose. Okay, the runes I use are Arcane Comet and Presence of Mind, the reason I pick this over the Bescuit Delivery is because they stop after the 10th or so minute mark and takedowns are ongoing throughout the game plus the mana boost comes in handy during fights. Start off with a Spell Thief and go for the Rod of Ages as your first item, followed up by Sorcerer's Shoes and from there build AP items you think are good for the situation. Like Ludens, Lich Bane, Morellos, etc. Now, to start of this perfect exhibition of how to accidentally pick a viable support and win games we spot out the enemy neckbeard with an eating slash drinking disorder and proceed to collect our first coin. And no, your eyes are not fooling you, that is a Brahm jungler but I'm playing Oriana support so complaining feels a bit hypocritical. Nevertheless, his oily stomach slipped out of our hands, you get away this time, you fat gnome. Luckily, the balls of my ballsy sister got him by the balls as he explodes back to fountain. Luckily for us, the brain-damaged airbender entering our farmlands is on the spectrum as he runs in to try and delete our team but is met with some swift balls to the face. Where's your flashy zip zapperoo now be? Like a true support, we help out our fellow support jungler to slap the worm as we also exhibit to the enemy what will happen when you pick a belly flopping useless for low elo jungler and walk in late to the party. Exactly, your invitation is cancelled, try again later. Now, because of all the game carrying action you will find yourself in with this amazing pick, give yourself some radiation poisoning by walking over these uranium orbs, it's good for your health. It is also needed because as soon as you leave, you will find your duo partner slinging around more balls than a McDonald's ball pit. 
Of course, when it comes to balls, this champ knows a thing or two so it is important to show pure aggro to convince your ADC to show Zappin Jack that even a ball juggling biznatch can outmaneuver, easy reel, with a well-timed, once in a 5 minute flash. Keep in mind though that, when you bully the enemy rolling gnome too much and combine that with some nice overextending, chances are you can still almost escape until Snorlax uses his gut launcher and tummy slam you back to your fountain. However, there is no time to sob over the L we just took because our macro attention is on point as always, as we spot out the enemy knife juggler faking a recall like we're playing with beads instead of balls, you dumb bitch. Now, to give her credit she does wait for the right moment to attack as her miniature version of the Red Ribbon Army arrives. Also, she goes straight for the quote on quote squishy champ, so far so good you would say. Unfortunately for her though, we already have proven what we do with flashy zippy zappers so of course she subcomb to the weight of our massive balls. Now, pay attention to what happens here because even though we've got planet-sized balls to throw around, it can't save a teammate from making choices with the same intelligence level equivalent to a diaper-pooping toddler, the same level of thinking that went into his jungle pick, so instead of leaping to his helpful support mastermind, he leaps to his certain demise. Though, I can't shit on him too hard because he actually played a decent game, as demonstrated right now. And that is how you use clean balls to delete the filth, which is the enemy team. I have to admit, this warding path I chose was a bit dangerous since I had no vision top. However I did spot my teammates nearby so we're good. Matter of fact, it is a nice setup to lure Autistic Aang into another ball measuring contest, which we would obviously win. Now, our initial plan to bait him didn't work, though we make him overextend so our beefy frontline can pin him and start the push to the enemy base. At this point you have to stay behind your team but keep them in range to buff, poke and shield when needed as you run down their frontline. Even though it is just our second or third game playing this champ, we have enough confidence to kite around the enemy team to fulfill our supporting role, as well as taking some nice picks when we get the chance. However, as always, there is one nemesis we just can't beat as we die to a tower shot in a video yet again. Damn you turret. I know, I thought we were going to end as well, but don't you worry. Baron is up soon and now that we have had a taste of victory, our balls are thirsty for more. So we go into the enemy farmland to obtain some crops, because that fat gnome can clearly skip a few, just to find the enemy team decide to put up a fight all of a sudden. At times like these, don't be too proud to disengage when you're clearly ahead of the game, but wait for a better opportunity to present itself where you can reap the desired results. Just fall back, take the objectives as you can and regroup to wait for said opportunity. Here is another nice example of why you should try Oriana's support. Just look at how I place my ball in the face of the fox bitch 2 cock block that oversized Gimli. Don't worry Foxy, support has got you back so don't lose faith, young thought, because that glimmer of hope you see, that's me. Like I said before, Brom did a nice jungling job as we start this game of who fucks up first. And for a second it seems like we were, just look at that panicky mouse movement, I almost pooped my trousers. That being said, Bert Kreischer's hunger was too great as he jumps in to get a bit more fed of our jungle goodies and right in our trap as I teabag him with my humongous one ball sized nutsack. And now, for the final battle, we move to the daunting barren pit, where the enemy already started the showdown. Like a horny baboon, our fox bitch presents her glutes to the enemy team trying to bait them out, which is for some reason ineffective. Now joined by Sir Crabcakes, just witness the enemy team securing the barren kill to give them a false sense of security as your whole team arrives to start the slapfest. 
At this moment, unfortunately, our positioning is wrong and we get caught in the front line, sacrificing our life for Sir Crabcakes who now barely survived, yet long enough to deliver the final destructive blow and secure the win in the ball measuring contest. For some reason, juggling Jenny thinks she can win this quote-unquote base race, which probably was just an attempt to avoid another point in her death counter. Needless to say her balls couldn't outmeasure ours and we claim another victory to our name. Thanks again for watching, please last hit the like button and queue up to my channel if you think the work I put in this content deserves more views and let me know what you think of this amazing support pick in the comments. See you next time chappy.